Creating and using random number generators is an extremely important coding technique that will unlock the ability to code with a whole lot of extra depth. Random number generators are used in many programs, from simple dice roll programs to full on randomly generated levels in video games. Interestingly, computers find it extremely difficult to create random numbers. This may seem strange, but computers work with specific rules and algorithms. It can follow a sequence of steps to the letter, without deviation, every time. But how do you specifically tell a machine to choose a random outcome itself? The answer is it cannot, not without a mathematical solution. One option is to create what's known as a seed, a number that can generate a list of numbers using various maths techniques. In this example, you can generate a different set of random values, simply by changing the seed. You may have seen this in Minecraft, where you can create the same world with the same seed. However, if you change the seed, a completely different world is created. Other solutions are to use unpredictable outside data such as radio static and assigning a value to that data. When using C Sharp, however, we don't really need to worry about the method of how it creates the random number, as that process is entirely abstracted for us. Although I may create a video on how to create a random number generator using a seed in the future. To create a random number, first we need to create a random variable type, like so. After that, we use that variable followed by the command next to create a random variable. As you can see, I've placed the random variable into an integer variable I've named num. Let's see what this code does by outputting the variable to the console. As you can see, it will print out a random integer. Next, let's control the range of random numbers. We can state a low boundary. Here I have put one, followed by a comma, followed by a high value. Here I have put 10, although this means that it'll actually output a value between one and nine. Another example here, if I change the values, this example generates a random value between five and 19, not five and 20, five and 19. Let's use a random number generator now to create a program that can flip a coin. Here we see we have generated a random number between one and two and combined it with the selection statement with the condition, if the num variable equals one, we output heads. Otherwise, we output tails. One final thing. It is important to note that you do not need to use the same variable names as the ones I've chosen. In the example on screen, my random variable is called random var instead of rnd, and number instead of num. Now try the on-screen challenges. If you can do all four of them without help, then let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, also let me know in the comments. If you would like to see step-by-step -step answers to these challenges, there will be a follow-on video which I will pin in the comments. If you learned something new from this video, or enjoyed it otherwise, please give this video a like and tap that subscribe button for more coding videos.